Hey guys, how's it going? Dr. Trick here, and welcome to um, Pickle. This is not try again live. It's in beta, so I can't really do it right now. But what I can do is give you guys this video. Also, um, I see that we have 10 subscribers. That's great. Even though I said I was going, up. but today, since I did not have time yesterday to do it, I'm gonna start our countdown to Halloween. And we're doing that. Our first story is gonna be about Toys R Us in Sunnyvale. So let me get that creepy music set up and we can start. Anyways, um, I really appreciate you guys checking out a lot of my stuff. Um, another thing is that um, if it wasn't for my friend Mike, who also does his own thing, you can also check him out. He's actually pretty, I watched some of his episodes and they're actually really good. Um, check him out because he does do vlogs like me. And he also does gaming videos that I started doing but have not fully done yet because I'm still setting up my equipment for this. Um, another thing that is good to watch that I enjoy is Fanos. That guy is pretty, pretty boss. If it was for him then I wouldn't also be starting my own thing. But anyways, back to, um, good news is we are going to be doing a, we are going to be, I just finishing up some stuff, my card series that you guys, the first 10 people could get them for free, here's some creepy music. Yeah, this is just Five Nights at Treasure Island, but anyways. Let's get to the story. Oh, I need to find it again because it was... The link I had just got... just turned off. So, here's the legend. For most of us, toy stores conjure up childhood images for fun, freedom, and imagination. However, a Toys R Us location in Sunnyvale, California, that's Scottish Coast of San Jose, has become more well known as a place of terror than pleasure. Ooh, my. That sounds pretty bad. Anyways, let's start this story. The legend, the Murphy Farm, about a hundred years before 130 East Cameo Street was the site of the of a Toys R Us location. It was a large area of farmland owned by a man named either Martin, sorry if I get this wrong, or John, with the surname of Murphy. Murphy had a wheat plantation on his land, as well as livestock and lar in a large or orchard. Not orchard supplies, you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> JK. Sometime in the late 1800s, Murphy hired John Johnny Johnson, a young skit. Uh, sorry if I, I'm just going to say immigrant because it's kind of hard with my source I'm using, who was also studying in, uh, studying to become a minister. Johnson fell in love with Mur Mur Murphy's oldest daughter, Elizabeth, but her heart was already won. One by 
a lawyer from the East. Another issue that plagued Johnson beyond the broken heart was a case of the, um, I can't say this word, sorry guys. It's not, it got some kind of like a disease thing that, um, that affected his brain. The condition can bring on uh, symptoms such as hallucinations, confusion, and memory problems. Because of Johnson was labeled Crazy Johnny by some of the Sunnyfell residents of his day. In the summer of 1884, Johnny Johnson would die in Murphy's Orchard after he had accidentally uh, had an accident with an axe while chopping wood. Johnson had badly cut his leg with an axe and led to death. Well, yeah, probably if you hurt yourself in those days, it's a death sentence. You got sick, you're dead. You got cut, you're dead. You got shot, you're dead. So yeah, that's pretty much death sentence there. Although the Murf Murphy family would continue to live on the land in Sunnyfell till the 1950s and 60s, they would soon move move on. By 1961, the main ma mansion was in uh, disrepair and had to be demolished, and most of the land, once a part of a huge farm and orchards, would have been sold off. One devel development project that had that was undertaken on the f former farmland was the construction of a Toys R Us toy store right at the corner of El Camino and Saratoga Road in the early 70s. Lost the legend, now let's actually read this other story that was with it. The six 60,000 square foot Toys R Us mega store opened in 19 1971. However, it was soon apparent that there was much more to the store than fun and games. Customers and employees at Sunnyvale Toys R Us would state that toys would be moved off the shelves during the night and or would stack, stack up on the floor. Strange odors, temperature drops, finger, fingers being ran through female employees hair while in the stock room, strange sounds, voices calling out, employees' names, or just some other paranormal activity going on in the toy store. Dun, 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 You know what they need? Ghostbusters. Do 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 do. Just kidding, because that's actually I. I prefer the original Ghostbusters, not that new remake. I'm sorry. They call me. Like, oh, Patrick, how dare you? Oh, Dr. Trick, how can you not like the remake? It was so good with women. I'm like, boy, no, it's not. To be honest, I actually did not see it, so. But I did hear a lot about it, so I'm like, nah. The store, the store has been open for a while. Store in 17, 1978. An area within the store where lots of activity was reported was the women's bathroom. Cause Johnny was a pervert. Just get out of here. The f the f uh, faucets would mysteriously turn on by themselves, and the people would feel like they've been wa being watched in the room. These events experienced by several people, with some even refusing to go into the bathroom alone. What an amazing account of this activity comes from Cheryl Rice, who at one time was the store manager at the Sunnyfield store. Here is actually what she said. I had gone, to, gone in to use the restroom. What I was one of the was, I was in one of the restroom stalls. Heard the door open, heard the water turn on. I kind of looked under the stall door and saw nobody in the restroom. The water turned off, the door opened, and I refused to use the re restroom for the rest of the six weeks I was there. The activity continues at the location to this day has been experienced by a large number of individuals since the 1970s. However, that what that makes the cause unique it was that it spawned one of the most famous ghost pictures 
ever taken. Um, yeah, um, there is actually a video on YouTube that you can actually see. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, like and subscribe. Um, next week's uh, next episode for this series would be the story supposedly a haunting at California's Great America. Also, I will not be talking about Winchester Mystery House, considering that there is a lot of videos on YouTube about it. So that's definitely not one of the things I would be talking about. So like, subscribe, hit me up. I'm on Instagram now. I'm on Twitter. You can find me on Facebook. Um, don't forget to watch my friend Mike's show. And also, I have announcements. My friend Lance, who I knew since since I'd gone to middle school, has joined uh, up with us. So he too will be helping out with the channel. So be ready for that. So yeah. Thank you for listening and see you guys next time.